Howdy everybody, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 19 of our Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. You may be wondering, Argon, Mr. Argon Matrix, why are you in the, uh, in the game corner? Well, as you may see in a second here, I've been here for the past several hours, actually, grinding up coins with the intention of buying uh, a bunch of different TMs, because they have so many, so many different really good TMs for, uh, for trade. So I'm just going to briefly show off uh, like how this game is played, because I never actually did that last time. And uh, I'll show you. It's mostly just comes down to the luck. Apparently, I've, according to sources on the internet, like Bulbapedia and stuff, this machine here, right below where this woman is uh, playing, has the best odds. I can't claim to verify that, but uh, it works for me. So yeah, a little smiley face, and then you're presented with this screen here. You can see I have quite a few coins up there, 6,718. I actually had 9,999. I grinded all the way up to the max there, and then spent some on some items that I'll go over briefly in a second here. But basically the way this works is uh, you put down either one, two, or three coins, and that'll determine kind of your odds of winning, more or less. If you put down one coin, you can see that the middle of the row there lights up, and that means that any matches you get on that middle row will count. Uh, if you put in two coins, then any matches on all three rows will count, and if you put in three coins, which I suggest you do every time because it has the highest chance of paying out, and you get all three rows plus the diagonals on those rows. And then it'll start spinning like this, and then you press A to stop the first column, and then you press B to stop the second column, and then you press or you press A to stop the second column, I mean, and then you press it again to stop the third column and hope for a match. Most of the time, you won't get anything. Here are the uh, various combos that you can get. Obviously, you want to go for triple sevens as much as you can. And yeah, this mostly does just come down to luck, unfortunately. Um, but if you're persistent enough, there are actually... Uh, there you go, that's one of the combos that you get pretty frequently if you play this enough. But there is a little bit of strategy involved when it comes to uh, just one specific aspect of it. I'm going to see if I can try and get something going here. It's basically if you get uh, either two R's in a row in the first uh, in the first two columns, or if you get two sevens in a row, like this here. So that third row, um, you can kind of game a little bit more than the other two uh, columns, because you can see very clearly when the R and the seven flash by. It's like a very bright splash of color inside that column, because the R and the seven are actually like right on top of one another. And so if you time it just right, you can actually stop this at the precise moment that you need to. Let's see if I can do it here. Oh, not quite. But if you do manage to do that, then it's, uh, it's a little bit easier. Anyway, I have enough coins for all I wanted. And I actually had a little bit of a change of heart here as I was looking at the TMs and stuff. Um, I'll show you what I did buy, first of all. I actually bought uh, pretty much all these items that this guy has for sale. I have a Smoke Ball, Miracle Seed, Charcoal, and Mystic Water, just because I think those could be useful items in the future, and potentially on some of our Pokemon that we have now. The Yellow Flute I did not get, because I can't use items in battle anyway, and the Yellow Flute cures confusion mid-battle, so uh, that wasn't worth it to me. And then we got all these TMs here. They're pretty expensive, but they're also really good. TM13 is Ice Beam. TM23, I think, is Iron Tail. TM24 is uh, Thunderbolt. 30 is Shadow Ball. And 35 is Flamethrower. And I really wanted to get Flamethrower for, um, for Zamori, obviously, because that would be really good in this upcoming gym. But it turns out Zamori actually learns Flamethrower at, like, level 34 or something, which won't help us in this next gym, but I think Ember will suffice until then, and I don't really want to, uh, blow that much on a TM that we're gonna get anyway, if that makes sense. Some of these other ones could be useful, like Thunderbolt especially, I was considering, but I don't think anyone on our team can learn it, really. Uh, Iron Tail's not the best thing in the world, I don't think I need that. Ice Beam would be good if we had Vaporeon on our team, but we don't right now, so... Not gonna worry about that for the time being. And Shadow Ball could be good on um, on Kirby, because he has pretty good attack stat and Ghost is a physical type for whatever reason. So that could be good, but it's not immediately needed, I don't think. I don't think it's the best thing, because Ghost, I believe the only type of Ghost is effective against are Psychic and, um, and Ghost. It's effective against itself. And I don't think that it's the end of the world that we don't have an exact answer for Psychic types, because most of them will fall quickly enough to headbutt anyway from uh, from Kirby, and he can just stay in there and take their hits all day every day. But we'll see if we have come back to that one or not. That's the one I'm considering coming back to. 
So for now, I actually just have uh, just enough coins to pick up this Porygon that I said I could get in the previous episode. I kind of dismissed the idea back then, but then I figured I should probably be getting as many Pokemon as I can, just because it's a Nuzlocke and I, I could use every uh, opportunity I can get. So I'm going to go ahead and get this Porygon here right now. Obtain the Porygon. It's all my coins basically gone. Give it a nickname, of course. I'll be right back when I uh, figure out what Porygon's nickname is going to be. Alright, it doesn't look like anyone specifically wanted a Porygon or a normal type or anything like that. So we're just going to go with uh, one person who said they wouldn't mind. They just wanted a nickname, anything after them. We're going with Golden Tails Geek, aka Kevin uh, CV here. So this one's for you, buddy. I know you're a long time viewer. Hopefully uh, you don't mind having a Porygon named after you. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. It's very rare. And it could come in handy in some point in the future. You never know. Right now we still have Nefits on our team, so it's not going to be the most important thing. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. You're awesome. Let's see how this Porygon is now. Let's uh, go check, take a look at it in box one here. And then I think um, I could, I do have the option of going to explore Saffron City now that I have that tea from the old lady. But I can't think of anything too pressing that I want to do there. The only thing I could think of would be uh, getting TM for Psychic, which would be good for Kirby. But he, similar to Zamori and Flamethrower, he also learned Psychic in like the mid-30s. So it's not the most uh, pressing thing in the world. Level 18 Porygon here. Sassy Nature. Ooh, listen to that cry. That's kind of cool. Trace is a really good ability. Tackle, Conversion, Agility, Psybeam. Not the, not the worst thing in the world. I think, like, Porygon gets Recover at some point pretty early, so uh, that could be a good option. At any rate, that's what we're uh, working with in our PC. And I will briefly, I think, uh, let's see, I was, I want to give my Pokemon some items here. I think I'm going to give Zamori the Charcoal that I bought, because that'll power up his Ember, which will be really good in this upcoming gym. The Smoke Ball, by the way, uh, it the holding Pokemon can flee from any wild Pokemon for sure, which will be good in case we run into something nasty, like we're trying to get an encounter, and we have Zamori, or do we have like a Grandos go front or something, that could be a good option. So we give Zamori the charcoal there, and I'm going to go ahead and give Grandosco the uh, Miracle Seed to power up his Bullet Seed. And we don't have anyone to give the Mystic Water to at present, but if we ever pick up a Water type and put it on the squad, then that'd be a good choice. For now though, I think that'll do. And yeah, I guess it's time to take on the gym because I don't want to explore Saffron right now. There's also like a gift Pokemon I can get there, but I think I have to take on like some level 30 odd like strong fighting type Pokemon in order to do that. And I don't feel necessarily the most confident about trying that out, so let's head down past this cut tree here that we never went down to. And we're gonna head into Erica's gym. Oh man. Just saying that gave me a little bit of butterflies in my stomach. Look at this weirdo. What are you doing? <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of women. Oh, God. That's why the friggin' guy wasn't allowed in there this time. The guy who normally gives us advice at the start. He's in the friggin' game corner right now. The nature-loving princess, huh? All right. Here we are. Has Scope been here already? Yup, damn straight. Good lord, he beats us to every single one of these. Okay. So, uh, Zamori is obviously going to be our linchpin here. He's going to be the star of the show today, which is fine by me because I feel like he hardly ever gets a shine, his chance to shine. But we're also, I think, going to teach um, Airy Lace here that I have to somebody because I'd like to have that option just in case. Zamori, I don't think I need to teach him Airy Lace, obviously, because he has Ember, and when he evolves, he'll get Wing Attack or something. Uh, Grandosco, no... I don't, I'm not feeling it on Grandosco either. I'm I'm considering mostly Kaimi, probably. Yeah, I think Kaimi would benefit from most from Aerial Ace. I just have that feeling, you know. It's like that feeling I had when I wanted to teach Grandosco Dig. So let's get rid of... I guess Focus Energy is the one to get rid of now. Yeah, yeah that's probably the best option. I'm, a, I'm not using it that much anyway, so... There we go, get rid of Focus Energy and... Give this to you, just in case we need your strong fighting prowess in there, Aerial Ace. Gotta love it. It's a move that he's weak to to boot, which is just kind of hilarious. Alright, let's take on these uh, lovely ladies. I should tell you about this, Jim. Only real ladies are allowed in here. So, well, <laughs> what about me? And what about Scope earlier? Come on, you let him in. Oh my. Why is their pose like so 
suggestive in some weird ways. I don't know. Bellsprout. For the most part, I think Ember should be a one or two hit on pretty much everything in this gym. I don't see why it wouldn't be, because I think everything is going to be weak to uh, weak to Ember in here. Weeping Bell. That, that could be an issue. Some evolved Pokemon take a little bit more to uh, deal with. Oh, apparently not. <laughs> apparently Weeping Bell and Bellsprout are cut from the same cloth. At least, uh, last K's are. You're too rough. Oh, sorry about that. Bleh, I hope Erica wipes you out. Oh my god. <laughs> you took a turn there. Uh, oh, welcome. I was getting bored. Me too, man. I was- that's- that's another reason I didn't want to go and explore Saffron most is because, uh... I was honestly just getting a little bit tired of- of dealing with, like, Celadon and exploring all that last episode. And I didn't want to have another episode just exploring a big city or something. So... I just wanted to get into the gym, raise that level limit up, you know, get us some breathing room here. Because once that level limit jumps up, it goes up to like 43, and it'll be there for a while, so... That'll be quite nice to work with. It'll put us in range for uh, Zamori to be allowed to evolve, even. Right on. Speaking of Zamori, he's level 28 now. Getting right up close to that level limit. I'm very glad with the progression we've had in terms of our levels. We haven't had to grind at all lately, like not since uh, around Lieutenant Surge's gym. And that just and that suits me just fine, honestly. Bell Spur, yeah. This gym is mostly gonna be like Bell Sprouts and Oddishes with maybe the occasional Tangle I've thrown in there just to mix it up a little bit. There might be like a Bulbasaur and stuff in here too, somewhere I imagine. My makeup! How stereotypical. Grass type Pokemon are tough against water type. They also have an advantage on rock and ground type Pokemon. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for telling me what not to use. Um, let me go ahead and switch, uh, just get a little bit of switch training going here. I could put Grandoscope up, but... You know what, I might as well just try and put Grandoscope for a little bit, right? Leech Life isn't gonna do a ton, but... Uh, I don't know. Let's actually put Nephits out front for a little bit. He'll do decently against these, uh, these ladies. Weren't you peeking in here earlier? No! Uh, no! Th that didn't happen off screen. No! I. No! I'm not. Okay, you caught me. Bulbasaur, huh? Man. Don't paint me as a pervert, Bulbasaur. Or whatever this girl's name is. I forget what it I, I wasn't even paying attention. I was getting all hot and bothered. Uh, picking Cortina. Ivysaur. Ooh, that's a little frightening. Regardless, return should do a significant number on it. Regardless. Did I just say regardless like twice? Sleep powder. Oh! Man, now watch me miss this cut. Oh, didn't. That would have just been like so hilarious if I missed the cut and then got hit by a sleep powder. It's like, what? There we go. You're an eye opener! In what sense of the word? You were looking at Erica, you weren't looking at me. What? <laughs> Okay, how do you, like, look in from these windows down here and see Erica past all these trees and statues and other people? Uh, oh, I didn't realize you would see me from that far away. Look, look, see my Pokemon! I like the grass type, I like how they're easy to raise. They are fairly easy to raise. Most grass types tend to have, uh, less experience needs than other Pokemon in order to evolve. And to level up in general, I think. Probably could have switched Nephits out of the front, but to be fair, I didn't realize that she would see us. I thought we would have a chance to switch, but oh well. Not the end of the world. Bell Sprout. If she has a third Pokemon here. This might get Nephits up to level uh, 29, actually. And that's scary. That's the level limit. Oh no, she doesn't, though. Okay. No! That's all you have to say is no. No! We only use grass type Pokemon at our gym. Why? We also used we also use them for making flower arrangements. That'd be a weird looking flower arrangement, just all these bulb like bell sprouts and oddishes scattered in among uh flowers and stuff. Let's try uh let's try Grandosco out. Like Leech Life is not gonna be the best thing against these uh grass poison types, obviously. But he resists uh, grass types fairly well as well, so. Just want to divvy up the experience as much as I can, really. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. 
Well, golly gee, I thought it was going to be masonry or something by the look of you. Execute. Oh, this was the perfect time to bring a Grandos Goat, actually. Leech Life is four times effective against this guy. Gotta love that. Watch this just demolish this thing. Oh, beautiful. Now, what's it gonna do in return, though, is the thing hit- No- Oh, I should have spored you. That would have been the smart thing to do. Oh, well, we can ride this out. I mean, realistically, what is it gonna do? Confusion? That's not the end of the world. Come on, Grandosco. I know you- I know you- I know you've been working hard. Ah, oh, Reflect. That's not gonna save you from Leech Life, I don't think. And working hard, you need a nap every now and again, but, uh... There's better times than right this second. Oh, good. How do you get confused in your sleep? This is... Man, if only I had that yellow flu right about now. Alright, come on. Grandosco woke up. You're confused, but you can break through this. You got this. It's just a little execute. There you go. That should do the trick. I'm not sure what Erica herself is gonna have. I think she had. I'm pretty sure she has like uh, the fully evolved forms of Bellsprout and Oddish, which will be like Vile Plume and um, and Victory Bell, obviously. And then I think she might have a Tangela. She'll have like a Tangela or an Execute. I'm pretty sure. A blind date coming up. I have to learn to be polite, especially if I have to battle. <laughs> is that a common thing in the world in Pokemon world? Like when you go on date, you have to battle your date. That'd be interesting. Um. Let's throw Kirby into the mix. Actually, no, let's, let's throw Zamori back out front, see if we can, uh, if these last two trainers can get him up to level 29, so they can safely take on the, uh, take on Erica. Uh, you better not underestimate the nice ladies here. Ooh, jeez. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. One thing I might do really quick before I take on Erica here is, uh, head out to the west of, um, the west of Saffron, and because I think I might be able to get an encounter out there. Not that I think that'll be a game changer in any regard, in terms of like what I'm going to be doing in this gym, but I'd just like to get it out of the way before I forget, because I just remember that kind of right now. I think I'll also get the TM for Fly, which will be nice, especially once uh, Zamori here evolves again. It'll be so good. Weeping Bell. Yeah, it looks like I should be able to get some more up to level 29 off of this trainer alone, let alone the uh, the other one that we still haven't fought. There we go. Maybe uh, maybe the other one will be useful to get uh, what's his name up. Either Kaimi or Kirby would probably be the one I would want to get up to level 20, 29 if I could before the gym leader. Stun Spore, gross. Shouldn't be the end of the world, though, especially after that burn. That was really, uh, really handy. Oh, come on, cool trainer Mary. You know cool kids don't use drugs, right? There you go. Will that do it in? There you go. Gotta love that burn. That's just, like, ah, uh, just comes in handy when you least expect it, man. And we got Ivysaur. This lady had, like, a whole, the whole gamut of grass types in here. All she was missing was that Execute, and I guess maybe a Tangela. I feel like Erica's gonna have a Tangela, just because, like, they have to give her, like, one Pokemon that's exclusive to just her. And normally I would think, like, they would give her a Blossom or something, but, uh, they don't have Pokemon outside of the one original 151 in trainers' teams just yet. Because that's just how they designed the game, for whatever reason. Alright. Can we break through this paralysis and uh, finish Ivysaur off here? Ooh, that was kind of nasty. There you go. The superior starter prevailed. I actually like Ivysaur and Bulbasaur quite a bit, but you know what? I rarely ever use the Charmander to line, so here we go. I didn't bring my best Pokemon. Wait until next time. Oh, jeez. She has like a freaking Tropius lying in the back or something. Um. I guess... Oh, who do I want? Oh, I pr probably Kirby is would be a better option in this upcoming gym battle than Kaimi, just because Grass is a special type. And so he has really high special defense. We don't like Bug or Fire type Pokemon in here. Oof, what about Psychic types? Those are fine, right? Yeah, surely. Yeah, 
Kirby would be good for taking hits against uh, Erica, and also dealing out significant damage to Vileplume and Victory Bell, which I'm pretty sure she has. Might not get that level here, though. I don't know, Gloom could give a significant amount more experience than Oddish, so... We'll see, it's gonna be close here with his experience. one shot it again, though. We're, like, one-shotting literally everything in this gym, practically. Oh, just missed that. Man, I might, uh... I'll probably take a... I probably will go get in that... that get, it, ooh, get that encounter and then just fight something in the wild to level him up once. Our leader, Erica, might be quiet, but she's famous around here. Well, we will talk to her momentarily after this short message from our sponsors. I should totally put, like, a... like an in-video ad right there. That'd be weird. I probably won't even remember to do that, but anyway. Let's head on out of here, go heal up our Pokemon, and then I'm gonna head out west of uh, Celadon and get ourselves an encounter, I believe. Be right back. Alright, all healed up, good to go. Let's head on out here. I think we're gonna be almost immediately stopped by Snorlax, but I think there is a little patch of grass that we can access from here. Uh, yeah, there's the Snorlax, gotta love it. Sprawled out on a deep and comfortable slumber. As you do. Enjoy the slope. I can't yet, but I will one day. Don't worry about it. I cut it here. And we do have this grass here, so... Ooh, we also have a double battle there, so I might consider that in a second. Really quick, I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Kirby the smoke ball. Just in case I run into something nasty and I gotta run away. And let's get our encounter for uh, whatever this route is. I wasn't even paying attention. That's a Doduo. So we have all the requisite normal flying types in the game, I'm pretty sure, except for, like, Farfetch'd. Um... I don't know if Zodu is gonna take a Hypnosis, or a Confusion, honestly. So I think I'm just gonna try and Hypnosis, and then maybe just start throwing balls at it. Hmm. Dodo is kinda awesome. Like, Dodrio is probably one of my... one of my more favorite of the, uh, standard birds. It's just, there's, I don't know, there's something so cool, but it's fast, it hits hard, it gets, like, tri-attack, which is really neat, it's a fun move. Alright, let's see if we can uh, just make this work with a great ball. Come on, Doduo, you know you want to be in our squad. It's gonna be fun, man, we, they have parties in that PC box, I, they tell me about them all the time. Oh, I, oh, I thought I had them sold on it, shit. Uh, what, what else can I tell you about these parties? Well... I know they have margaritas, and I'm sure they'll give you two, one for each of your heads, don't worry about that. They're, they have, like, parfaits, they, um... Oh, he fell for it. <laughs> uh, now he's gonna go into slave labor in our box. Just kidding. Now they do have parties in there, I've seen them, don't worry about it. We trade our Pokémon well. A bird that makes up for its poor flying with fast foot speed leaves giant footprints. Those are some big-ass footprints, look at that. Give a nickname? Yeah, of course. I'll be right back with a nickname for this little guy. Well, it turns out the next person in line for a nickname is our good buddy, Salamence92. So as weird as this is gonna be, we're gonna have a little doduo named Salamence. So, uh, you got a pretty lofty name to live up to, up to there, little guy, but I know you can do it if the time ever calls for you to arise from your PC box party. Anyways, thanks to you, Salamence92, for commenting and watching and all that good stuff. Here is to you, buddy. Salamence. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh god. Anyway, let's uh, let's leave Kirby out front here, and then I guess stick Kaimi out front with him for this double battle. Maybe, ah, uh, maybe Graffin. Gra I don't know who I want on that front. A lot of times, train up Graffin and Grandos go later after this gym. Uh, I'd like to have Kirby and Kaimi as high up as I can. If I can get levels on both of them out of this double battle, then that would be really nice. Our love knows no bounds. We're in love and we show it. Why did I, I gave him the total James voice from uh, Team Rocket in the anime. Young couple Leia and Jed. Leia, huh? Oh my god. Hold the phone. What have I just gotten myself into? Okay. Shit. <laughs> Uh, let me press this really quick. Oh, I thought that would... I thought there was, like, a button that you could press that would show, uh... My actual HP numbers. Is it... Is it start? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Because I'd like to see what kind of damage they're actually doing in terms of the numbers here. Um... 
fuck, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect them to have two, like, big fire Pokemon. This could be bad. Alright, I think I'm going to... Hmm. Who's, bi who's the bigger threat? They're both pretty threatening, so I'm just going to go ahead... Uh, and Hypnosis Nine Tails, and then Brick Break into Rapidash. Why don't I have Dig on you? That would be so good right now. I could switch. I could switch to uh, to Graffin, but that's risky too in its own right. All right, let's just give it a shot. Quick attack. That did decent. That did twelve. All right, how much does Brick Break do though? That's a two-hit kill. All right. Maybe this isn't as scary as I anticipated it being. Still, that tail whip is not the best thing in the world. Thank you for hitting on the first go, Hypnosis. Alright, and Kaimi is faster than uh, Rapidash, so we should be able to take that out right now. I'm going to go ahead and... Let's, let's see how much confusion can do to the Ninetales. And then Brick Break on the Rapidash to finish it off. There we go. Man, this, this had me nervous. It's just, just like seeing those two big, friggin' scary Pokemon up on the screen. Trying to learn Meditate, huh? Hmm. That's a move that increases my attack when I use it. Of course, the only move... Like, I don't want to get rid of Hypnosis. And the only move I'd really get rid of would be Headbutt. But that's the only one that would benefit from Meditate as well. Because I can't get rid of Flash, unfortunately. So I'm going to go ahead and skip Meditate on this, uh, at this juncture. And Ninetales remains asleep. How much is Confusion going to do to it? It has pretty significant special defense, so I'm not anticipating a whole lot here. Yeah, that figures. Let's see. Let's try Headbutt on it, and then Brick Break again. I think we'll be good here, yeah. Yeah, Headbutt should definitely finish it off. Otherwise, there's something seriously wrong with your head, Kirby. Alright. Had me a little on the edge there, uh, Leia and Jed. My lover has seen me as a loser. Oh, Lord. Listen, Leia, you need to focus less on me. <laughs> Sorry, Jed is so cool. Well, color me confused. Oh, Lord, how do you get in? Good effort, thanks. I used cut once. It was great. Uh, I believe in here is where I get the HM for fly as well. Yeah, look at her. She's got a bird. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. You're telling me no one notices this building that's just like beyond the fence over Cycling Road? It's not a very good secret retreat, lady. Anyway. Man, we are getting kind of up there on time, but I really want to take on the gym leader. I really want to fight Erica, so I think that's how we're going to cap this video off. I, I'm pretty sure we'll be okay against her. We have a pretty significant upper hand, if I had to, uh, if I had to say so. With the Zamori, and we also have Kaimi and, uh, and Kirby to, to kind of help them out. But I really think Zamori's gonna be the star of the show this time, because he's got the charcoal-powered ember. I think we're gonna be good. So let's head on down to Celadon Gym. And do this the shit. And here we are. Alright, take the walk of uh, shame. No, that's not the right thing to say. Let's head up here. Cut this, cut our way up to Erica. Alright, take one last quick look at our team here. I know we don't have any berries that we can benefit from. There we go. Zamori, you've been with us from the start, buddy. Time to put your uh, prowess to use. I know you're going to do us proud here. And Kaimi, just in case uh, things get a little hairy in there, might have to step in with Aerial Ace and do some damage. We'll see, Nefits, you're just powerful all around, so uh, if you come in, do your thing. Kirby, you might be, you might come in and save the day as well. We'll see. Graffin, you better stay as far away from this battle as possible. If I'm bringing you in, then something has gone seriously wrong, but... Uh, be our cheerleader, okay? You too, Grandosco. I think you can sit this one out. You've had an, more than enough showing in gym leaders in the past, so uh, don't worry about this. If worse comes to worse, I will probably end up bringing you out, but for now, let's not worry about that. And let's talk to Erica and begin this battle. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? So pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. 
I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Uh, I beg to differ on that one. I feel like this is going to be rather easy going. Three Pokemon, victory bell. Okay, that's that's terrifying to look at at the very least. Level 29. Well, we got our own level 29 here. Come on, Zamori. That level limit is up now. Let's get you up to level 30 on this. Damn! Oh, Zamori! <laughs> he really wants to win. Oh my god, that critical hit. Wouldn't I don't think I think it would have been a two-hit KO regardless, but still I'll take that one hit, that's for sure. Who do we got up next? Tangle I knew it! I friggin' knew it. Level 24. Okay. Well, uh, take this ember. See ya, Tangela. Didn't even need the crit on you. This might just be another uh, another total wash on our on our side here. Or on the, on her side rather. Vile Plume. Vile Plume might take an ember or two. Let's see. Is it going to take an ember and do Sleep Powder and make me regret my decisions? Stun Spore. That's better than Sleep Powder, honestly. Alright. I think I'm going to go ahead and go... Because if I go for ember right now, it's going to not kill and then she's going to heal it up. So let's go for Scratch instead. Acid. Ooh, that could hurt. Yeah, that's not the best. But... Another one won't kill me, obviously, and then Ember should take you out as long as I'm not paralyzed here. Come on, Zamora, you got this, buddy. There you go. Easy as that. Another one-shot wonder. Almost level 31, too. We defeated Erica. Sweet. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer onto you the rainbow badge. Look at that badge. That's beautiful. Add a little more splash of color to the uh, to the layout there. The rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. TM19, that's the big prize here. Hell yeah. TM19 contains Giga Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that's a wonderful move? Oh, it would be scary if she used that against me, if she got a chance to. You are cataloging Pokemon. I must say I'm impressed. I would never collect Pokemon if they were unattractive. Oh, God! Uh, I didn't realize you were that judgmental. I'm gonna get out of here, Erica. You do you. Anyway, that's that. Last thing I'm gonna do before uh, ending this off, let's teach Giga Drain to our lovely little Parasect here. Grandosco, you've been with us for a long time. I think this is a well-deserved prize. Only 5 PP, so it's not the greatest in the world, but... Gosh darn it, this is going to be powerful. Let's have to replace something with Giga Drain. I guess we'll get rid of Bullet Seed? Yeah, I mean, it's ultimately just going to be a better move. It's not... That PP is really... Ugh. But it does restore HP. It's really strong. I think that's uh, that's our answer here. Let's get rid of Bullet Seed. We have keep your restoring items if the if it comes down to that. There you go. You drain those people, Grandosco. At any rate, that's going to have to be it for this video. We're uh, well up in our time here. So thanks everyone for watching. That's four gyms down, four to go. Still not a Pokemon lost yet. But we'll see how long we can keep that up. And anyways, next time we are going to progress on through wherever we can progress. There's actually quite a few different options we can pursue right now. Especially with uh, the freedom of that level limit. So thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.